Hello everyone, it's me Sarah. Welcome to my channel, A Curious Cuttlefish, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make this spiderweb shawl. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am going to turn my camera around and show you guys how to make this shawl right here behind me. I'll try to move out of the way. So this is what we're making today. Um, happy Halloween, you guys. So this can be used um, as a decoration on your couch or you can wear it. It's very light, very airy, very fast and easy to make. So um, there are different ways to end it. This is the edging that I like where the, um, I don't know, these longer points of the shawl come out just a little bit and have a slight pico on it. Um, so let me get this camera turned around and I will show you how to start this. Okay everyone, so I'm going to be going over how to make our spider web shawl. So let's get the materials we're going to need. I am using a 5mm crochet hook. You are also going to need some scissors to cut off your tail at the end. You are going to want a yarn needle or tapestry needle to sew in your end and um, the yarn that you're using. I am using a four weight white yarn. Um, this is just like your Red Heart Super Saver. And I'm only using one skein to make this shawl. So um, you can use however much or little yarn as you would like. And this is how we are going to be doing it. So let's get started. All right, so we have our yarn here. We are gonna start off with our slip knot. So we're gonna make a loop, stick our hook through and pull. So here's our slip knot. There we are, we're starting off with this on our hook. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, sorry, four, four. So this chain three is gonna count as our first double crochet and then into our fourth chain from the hook, this is gonna be the center that we are working all of our stitches into. So this is our first double crochet. We are gonna work eight more double crochets into the fourth chain from the hook. So let's do eight more. One, oop, didn't go through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now right here, counting our chain three, we should have nine stitches. And this is how we're gonna start off our spider web shawl. Okay, so now we're gonna turn. We are going to, this is round two now, chain three, one, two, three. So this counts as our first double crochet. Now chain one more, so there's four, so that's a double crochet and a, and a chain. Yarn over, we're gonna double crochet in our next stitch. Okay, we're gonna chain one and double crochet in the next stitch. So we're gonna follow this pattern all the way around. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. And once you see how this pattern is working up, it's gonna make a lot of sense and you're gonna be able to do this very quickly all on your own. There's a lot of chains and it's just double crochets. So um, it's a nice, fast and easy shawl. All right, so I'm just working into this last, remember we're working into the top of our starting chain three. So that's what I'm doing right here. 
So there we go. That is row number two. Now let's start on row number three. We're going to turn, chain three. Remember this counts as our double crochet. And now we're going to chain two. So there's going to be two chains between each double crochet for this round. Chain two, and now I'm going to double crochet into the top of the double crochet. And you'll see how this starts to look like a spider web. We're in chain two, and I'm sure you're going to be able to guess how the following rows go. There we go, chain two, double crochet into the top of the next double crochet, chain two double crochet into the top of next double crochet. Sorry, I'm not even holding this in the right area. Chain two. So we're going to keep going around just like this. Okay, chain two, double crochet in the top of the next double crochet. Chain two, and now remember, this one was a chain one and then the top of the chain three was our double crochet. So we're going to skip that first chain and work our last double crochet in here. Alright, so here you see that it's starting to look a little bit like a web. Um, now, if we were to just keep doing this, our shawl would end up um, curving ever so slightly down so we need to add more on this edge so what we're going to do now is we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to do a double crochet into the same double crochet just like that so now we have two double crochets into this first one there was a chain two in this space below, so we are going to chain three and then work a double crochet into the next stitch. So let's chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet into this one. And again, we are going to just keep doing this all the way around. Sorry if the lighting is a little funky because I'm using white yarn. Um, chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet into the double crochet. And this is our pattern. Chain three, double crochet into the double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the double crochet. And we are just going to keep doing that. One, two, three, double crochet. One, two, three. Now remember, this one, they had chain two spaces, so we want to skip those first two chains and then work our double crochet into the top of the chain three, which was like our double crochet stitch. So this side, remember here we have two, in essence, two double crochets in that last stitch, so we're going to copy that here. We're going to do our second double crochet into this last stitch. So now we just completed row four. So let's get started on row five, and then row five is basically just repeated until you have the shawl um, and it's the length or size that you would like it. So. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And this one, um, we're gonna treat this like another side of the web. So um, there was no chains in between these two, so we're gonna chain one, right? So there's our double crochet, chain one. And we're gonna double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. And now this one has three chains, so we're gonna chain four. One, oops, one, two, three, four. And we're going to double crochet into the top of the double crochet. So every row, you are adding one more chain. So there's our four chains. 
double crochet and we're just going to keep doing this all the way around so I think I'm just going to let this keep recording because I can finish up this row and then get started on row six and you'll see what I mean and then you'll be able to do this on your own. Our double crochet. One, two, three, four. Double crochet. One, two, three, four. Another double crochet. One, two, three, four. Double crochet. So now we're at the edge here we're gonna chain one and then do our double crochet into the top of that chain three so here's what it's looking like this is the end of row five so let's start row six and I'm sure you will know how to do it from here on out so we're going to chain a three, one, two, three. That counts as our double crochet. And now this has one chain, so we're going to chain two, one, two, and we can work a double crochet into this one. Right? We're adding on an extra chain for each from the row before. Now, this we have four chains, so we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four. Five, and then do a double crochet into the double crochet and continue five one two three four five chains double crochet into the double crochet so I'm gonna continue this all the way around till we get to this edge and I'm gonna turn it the camera back on to show you how we do this edge and then start row seven Okay, so I'm here at the end. I just did my chain five, so now we are going to do our double crochet into the second from last double crochet. Remember, this was a chain one space, so we are chaining two. And skipping this first chain, working into the second because we want there to be a chain one space. There's our double crochet. Okay, and there we are. We just finished row. Well, actually, this is row seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, this is row six. We are starting row seven. So we're going to turn the shawl. And now all of our rows are going to be exactly the same. You can make the shawl as large or as small as you would like. You are going to chain three one two three that counts as your double crochet and then we're going to add one extra chain from the from the row beneath so there's two chains here we're going to chain three one two three and then do our double crochet into the next double crochet so now this one this space we have five chains so we are going to do a chain six and then a double crochet into the double crochet so it's chain six one two three four five six and a double crochet so this is the pattern you're just going to continue this for as long as you would like this shawl and um, I will join you guys after I have finished this. I am just using one skein and then once I run out of yarn that's where I'm going to stop. And um, if you want to add an edge I will um, have a little tidbit showing you how I do my finishing border just to add a little bit more right here on the end. Um, and we can do that. So this is how you make the shawl. I'm going to be chaining six double crochet all the way around and then you just follow this pattern and you will complete your shawlette. So thanks so much for watching. Um, 
I will be back in just a moment for you to show you the border and then um, I can show you guys the completed project. So be right back. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the last row and then this edging is optional. You can do it with or without depending on how you would like your shawl to look. So um, I have done, I am now at 17, there are 17 chains between this first one and then there are 20 chains between each of these larger ones. So that's how many rows I've done. So um, let's get started. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to do a slip stitch um, into the top of your chain three. So you'll have a little like bobble nib, whatever you want to call that. Um, and so this was 17, so now I am going to chain 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, and now I'm gonna double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. All right, now whatever row you are on, remember we are just adding one more chain than the length of the row previously. So this one right here is 20 chains. But, so I just made my double crochet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three. Do a slip stitch into the top of my double crochet right there. Little slip stitch. My yarn split a little. So again, we'll have a little bobble, nib, whatever you want to call that. And then I am going to be chaining 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, and now I can do a double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. And so this is our finishing row. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a chain three, one, two, three, then working a slip stitch back into the top of my double crochet and it's just adding here at this edge you'll see we'll have a little bit more to finish off our spiderweb shawl and again if you don't like this edging you by all means can finish it with just the simple um, edge that it had before another option that you can do is you can add very small tassels onto each of these um, ends for where the web is and I think that looks very nice as well. So you can finish this shawl however you prefer. Ugh, tripping over words. Anyways, I am going to continue going in this pattern so I can finish up this last row and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So remember you are adding one more chain from the previous row. So I am chaining 21 for mine. It can be 30, it could be 15, however large or small you decided to make yours. Um, we're doing a double crochet. Then you're gonna chain three slip stitch back into the double crochet and then work on your next section. So um, I'm gonna fast forward for you guys and turn the camera around so I can show you what it looks like completed. So see you guys in a bit. Welcome back everyone. So I finished the edging on this shawl. So here we have these little picos or I forget what I called them when I was recording this, uh, when I was recording doing it, but I still have tails. So what you wanna do with your tails is you want to thread them onto your tapestry needle and then just weave your ends in 
and for all of my subscribers, you know how often I actually weave my ends into my projects. It's like rarely to never, but um, <laughs> when you finish your project, it is always a good idea to weave in your ends and then cut off any excess that you have. So this might be one of my few projects that has an end woven in because I'm doing this tutorial on it. But there we go. So I pulled it through a few places. Now I am just going to cut off this little excess right here. And there's that end woven in for this part. And then here at the center, this is the starting tail that I had, so I am also going to um, leave this in. I cut it because it was unraveling a bit, and you kind of had hard to thread that onto your needle if you want to weave an end in. So I'm just going to get it all through here. go. Rocco is snoring in the background again, you guys. I decided my video needed some white noise. Resting up for tonight, I guess. Alrighty, so I'm just pulling this tail back and forth through this beginning portion. Um, when you weave these in, should be in such a way that you won't be able to see it. So there we are. Cut off any excess with your scissors. And here's this completed shawl. And you will notice that mine is more of a shawlette. This is the size that I prefer. Like I said, you can make this as large or as small as you would like. Um, it works very well if you're wearing dark clothing. We'll turn a bit so you can see the back. Um, it also looks a lot better when it's been blocked. I have not blocked this yet, but I would suggest that you do, and it um, works up very quickly. I did this whole thing in probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So this is a very fast and easy project. It does not use a lot of yarn. I started off with maybe double of what's here. Maybe a little less than that. Um, so I didn't even use a whole ball of yarn to make this. I just made it to the size that I liked. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, I hope that you all have a wonderful Halloween. Stay safe and I shall see you all soon. Bye.